Hello everybody, Justin from Adventures Away here, and today I have another Universal Epic Universe construction update for you. I do want to thank everybody who has given me feedback on my prior videos. We're going to try something a little different this time and go without any music as much as I would like to have something playing in the background. But I want to know what you guys think. Is this better or do I still need some background noise? I'm still very new at this, so all the feedback is greatly appreciated. Now, let's jump into it. But before we do, go ahead and follow BioReconstruct on Twitter for more Epic Universe updates. But for now, let's take a look, starting with the off-site hotels. The one off-site hotel that has had its building completed has received even more tiles on the outside. We're about halfway up the building now from this zoomed out view. You can see that you're about halfway up. It's about eight or nine stories tall with rooms and they are starting on the floor floor now. Depending at the angle that you are looking at these tiles and the light, they're going to look completely different than they may look on the ground right now. If you look closer, you can see there are electrical outlets. Every so often on the building this assumes that there are going to be some lights on the side of the building to give that building the pop during the night time with these colored tiles however it'll be interesting how the tiles on this building come out looking like once the entire facade is complete we are seeing more and more detail every week and soon enough we will be able to see the entire completed facade probably if i had a guess sometime in the middle of september off to the side of the building, you can see that the lattice work that these tiles are attached to. The holes in the middle are the windows that are going around. Off in the distance, you can see the on-site hotel continuing to rise. Since our last update last week, it looks like they have completed the fourth or fifth story of guest rooms as we continue to make vertical progress. The second off-site hotel has seen another set of concrete tiles placed for the building construction. If you look closely at the arrow on your screen, towards the bottom is the rumored spinning roller coaster in the rumored classic monsters area of Epic Universe. Over at the main entrance, work continues on the entrance gates as well as the security and admissions building. Looking through the scaffolding, over in Dark Universe, you can see the outline of the gothic styling found in the land. Over at the Dueling Roller Coaster, this is an amazing view of the celestial spin that is patented by Universal, and the load station theming continues as well as the upper roof of the load station has been completed with sheeting. Looking across the central hub of the park, you can see at the bottom of your screen the top of the rumored carousel ride. All around the Dueling Roller Coaster, the greenery continues to grow as well as mulch being added to the trees which you can see has been cut out around the grass. The Dueling Roller Coaster is wrapped around the How to Train Your Dragon land. It is tucked in very nicely. Speaking of How to Train Your Dragon, since our last update, the second dragon has been added to the second tower of the spinning rides, as well as the wing added to the blue dragon. The counterweights have been themed to make it look like a hammer, as well with the dragons grabbing the end of the spinning rides. It seems as though very soon here, in the next update or two, we should start seeing ride vehicles added to the sets of spinning rides as we get closer and closer to opening day, set to be in the summer of 2025. These spinning rides will have the effect as the dragons are the ones propelling the spinning motions. Over at the roller coaster, at the second launch station of the roller coaster, it seems as though painting is going on around the tracks with the tarps being set up. Over at the load station, doorway arches have been spotted being prepped on the ground, more than likely being the entrance way to the load station for different guests. The greenery has been added to the bottom of the statues in the lagoon, giving the effect of moss growing on the statues as if they have been there for years and years. The vivid colors found around the lagoon in How to Train Your Dragon are just spectacular and amazing to see in person. Over at the Donkey Kong Minecart Roller Coaster, the track continues to be inspected around the theming elements to ensure guests can pass through the roller coaster safely without hitting anything. This is all for our update today. I hope you enjoyed our short update of Epic Universe. Please remember to like this video and subscribe for more Epic Universe construction updates. This is Justin from Adventures Away. Until next time, have a great one.